Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Welcome to today's video. So I've been wanting to do this video for a while now, but I've been like debating if I want to purchase other ones and whatnot, but I'm actually like at a place where like I have a good decent collection that I'm like happy with. I feel like I'm good for a while now. So I wanted to share with you guys my sunglass collection. This year has definitely been the year of accessorizing for me, if you will, between jewelry and like sunglasses. I've really, really been into both and sunglasses definitely more than jewelry. I've been purchasing a lot of them and most of them from Amazon, surprisingly, which I'm not mad about. But I have a lot to share with you, not a lot, but I have a few to share with you. So if you guys are interested, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and let's jump into this video. Oh, by the way, this video, if you can't tell by the title, is going to be my sunglass collection. Wow, I don't even think I said that, but hello. Yeah, this video is going to be my sunglass collection. So yeah, now let's go and jump into the video. All right, so I keep my sunglasses in this like box thingy that I got off Amazon a few weeks ago and my sunglass collection was just getting out of hand and I needed to do something about it. I needed to have a more organization, like it was really driving me nuts. So I saw this on Amazon and it was perfect for the amount of sunglasses that I have. So I was like, I need to purchase this. So I'm actually gonna start, let me see. Okay, I'm gonna start with the ones that aren't from Amazon and then I'm gonna go like that. I'm gonna save my Amazon ones for last because those believe it or not, happen to be like my favorite and like my everyday shades. So I'm going to start with like what's on the bottom. So in this little case, it has a draw. So you can pull out like what's underneath. So that's where I'm going to start. So the first ones, I've had these ones for years and these I will probably never get rid of just because they are such a staple of my collection and they're just so good to like throw on. These are the Ray-Ban Arica's. I've had them for like five years they are so dirty so i do apologize in advance but these ones i love so much these ones are perfect they are just lightweight i feel like they go with like anybody's face especially like somebody like me who has a small face like these are not too big not too small i really do love them and my favorite thing about them is how lightweight they are so if you're somebody that wears a lot of makeup or wears makeup and you don't want like that sunglass crease these are for sure for you I really, really love these. I think they still, I'm pretty sure that, that they still sell them. I have mine in the tortoise print. They also make them in like the matte black print, but I love these for like throwing on my forehead, like just as a little accessory, even if I'm not trying to wear sunglasses, like just to have them like on my forehead as a little accessory because they are so lightweight that they don't like pull on your hair or do anything like that. But these ones I've had for so long and I just love that they're, they feel, they don't feel flimsy, but I guess you can kind of say that they do feel flimsy because they are lightweight, but these things have been through hell and back. I don't even think I kept them in their case after I got them. I've just been like throwing them in all of my bags for years and years and years. And they are in pretty good condition. I've taken them to the beach, worn them in the beach, worn them in the pool. Like they have been through it all. And they are still looking like brand new in my opinion. They just need to be cleaned. But these ones are like my babies. I think these are their, yeah, these are the only designer sunglasses that I own. So they are like super special to me. I love them. So up next, I feel like even to this day, I still see like at least one to two times a week, I see one girl like wearing these, whether they come into my job or I see them at the mall or I just see them like on the street. I feel like these are also like another staple. These are by Key and these are the High Key Mini Black Fade Sunglasses. Do you guys remember when these came out, how hyped they were and how popular they were? I have had mine for like two and a half years. Mine are really, really beat up, like really beat up. But let me show you what they look like. These need to be cleaned as well, so I do apologize. But wow, I haven't worn these in months and months, like probably like almost a year since I've worn these, but this is what they look like. And these are, hold on, the glare is like, like reflecting on me, so let me look at my phone. But yeah, no, these are, wow, I think I might actually wear these today. I miss these guys. These are really really cute and they are just to me they feel like super fabulous i'm going to say that a lot in this video because a lot of the sunglasses that i own make me feel really really fabulous so sorry in advance but yeah these are the high key minis you can still get them on key's website i was actually looking to repurchase them just to have like a newer pair that isn't like beat up because you know like that sunglass test where you can put them down and if one arm is like raised and they're kind of crooked that's like kind of what's happening here but i just feel like even to this day like these are such a staple in so many people's collections like i feel like i see them all 
the time. The one thing is these are a little bit on like the heavier side and they do have those little nose pieces. So when I wear these like in the summer and I have makeup on, they do really, really rub on the sides of my nose, but that's fine. I still love them so much. I had a few other pairs, but I think I had the mirrored ones and then I had like the rose gold ones, but those are, I mean, those are destroyed. Those are freaking destroyed. I don't even know where they are. I think one is like I don't even know like they're just destroyed so those will not be appearing in this video but I did used to have those but now I just have the black fades those are my favorite I'm gonna open the top one quick because I have a few in here that are not from Amazon that I want to share with you guys so I'm quickly gonna talk about these I have spoke about these a few times on my channel these are a more recent purchase these are from dime optics and these are the collab with Nicole Guerrero these things are freaking huge now looking at them now like in the viewfinder I'm like wow these are really really like really really big like I don't wear these really ever to be honest with you like if, unless I like really need to like disguise myself that's really when I'll wear these but I mainly only purchase them to support Nicole Guerrero because I love her so much and I do honestly like this design but it's just I do have a really Really small face, as you can see, they don't look horrible, but they don't also look like too, too flattering. My uncle called me a bug one time when he saw me wearing these. He was like, hey, look, there's a bug, like, ha, 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 so funny. But yeah, these are like, these are more like, oh, I almost just broke them. These are more like an impulse just because I really wanted to support Nicole Guerrero, but they are really cute. They are kind of on the heavier side, so just keep that in mind if you do purchase them. Is there like a, oh yeah, these are called Feeling Catty, so they are by Dime Optics. And it is the collab with Nicole Guerrero. The last sunglasses that are not from Amazon, they're actually from Primark. And honestly, you guys, these probably are in my top top three to four sunglasses. These were $4.50 in Primark. And I was kind of hesitant to buy them because I couldn't tell in store if they were crooked or if they were going to look good on me. And I was like, you know what? They're $4.50. Let me purchase them, like, worst comes to worst, like, it was four bucks, like, it's not that serious. So these are, like, a, like, dupe or, like, impersonation of the Celine shades. I'm, like, pretty sure, you know, like, those ones that, like, all the celebrities wear and, like, everybody has, like, a dupe for them. These are one of them. I got them, like I said, from Primark for four dollars. And these ones, you guys, oh my god, they are, like, one of my favorites. I know that they look kind of huge right now, but, you guys, I wear these all the time and especially over the summer whenever I would go to the pool these were the ones that I would take with me I just love them so much and I love like the tortoise fade I love like how the shades kind of fade I mean for 450 like can you go wrong like they look so cute on the top of your head I look I love wearing like sunglasses on the top of my head so if you look good on the top of my head and my face you are definitely like a keeper but for sure, I love these ones so, so, so much. If you guys have a Primark near you, definitely go there and check it out because they have tons and tons of sunglasses. Like, they always do. And these ones for 4 bucks are just, like... Like, I feel so fabulous in these, right? Like, I just love... One of my favorite, like, designs for sunglasses is black and then fade to, to like, the tortoise print. Love that. I feel like a glam... Like a glamazon when I wear these. But I really do love them. And for 4 bucks, they were love those babies all right so now i'm gonna go in and talk about my amazon ones which are my favorite 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 ones at the moment i really really love all of my amazon shades i like to switch them out and wear them like periodically you know what i mean i, I like to like make things fair to my sunglasses so that nobody feels left out so i'm going to start with the most staple probably the most staple pair in this entire collection these ones i bought over the summer and i was like who do i think i am wearing these but when i got them i was like Mm -hmm. So these are just like these white sunglasses and there's just something about them that makes me feel great and I only honestly wore them to the pool because these are really really loud and I don't want to be in public wearing these so I would really only wear them when I would tan but they are just like so so cute so 50s so vintage just really adorable in my opinion and I used to love how they looked when like I was really tan because they would really pop then because I would be so tan and these are so bright white. I loved it and these are, even though they are really loud, like I just loved them. I felt like like a frigging Glamazon again. Like I just felt so fabulous and I would wear these. Everybody would be like, why are you wearing these bright white sunglasses? But I was like, you don't understand how these make me feel. They make me feel so fabulous and just so like look at me. And I just love them. Like I said, I only wore them to the pool because I am 
like not the type of person that likes to draw attention to myself in public so I would not wear these in public maybe next summer I will but for now they were like my pool shades and I, I love them These next ones I bought and I love the design but I just wish that the actual like lens was darker so I have these in this one that I have them in black which I'll show you in a second but these are another like tortoise print like fade to tortoise ones and that was why I purchased them because I love that look I do really honestly love these shades do not get me wrong I just wish that this was darker because I don't know if you can tell on camera I think you can but you can still kind of see my eyes and I like to kind of be blacked out especially when I don't have makeup on I really like to conceal and like hide myself you know but these ones they are really comfortable I do love them um they are super affordable all these sunglasses are really affordable from Amazon obviously they're from amazon like i said i will have them all linked down below for you but these ones um i love them but they're not like my favorite 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 ones but i do really like them and i do wear them from time to time so these next ones are the same exact sunglasses that i just showed you but just blacked out and these are probably like one of my like top like top two sunglasses i love these they make me feel these ones probably make me feel the most glamorous out of all of these ones. I love them so much. I love the cat eye effect. So um, they are really similar to the Dime Optics ones. As you can see, they are pretty similar. I'm so sorry that the ring light is like really reflecting in these sunglasses. But they are super similar. But as you can tell, the Dime Optics ones are a lot, a lot bigger. That was actually another reason why I bought these. Because I already had these. And I was like, oh, they're going to look fine. And then when I got them, they were huge on me. And I was like... It's okay though, but these ones are super comfortable. I wore them. These were like my sunglass obsession started like mid-summer where I was buying a lot of them. And these ones were the like the first ones to start it and I was just rocking them for most of the summer and I love them so, so, so much. These ones are probably, like I said, like my top two. I really love them and I just feel like even though they're from Amazon and they were like 10 bucks, like these look like they're expensive sunglasses. Like don't come for me in my Amazon sunglasses. Like these are... Like, hey, no, I love them. I love them so much. Okay, so these last two are sunglasses that I never thought in a million years I would wear because I do love a bigger shade. I feel like it looks better on my face, but I don't love like a too much of a bigger shade, but I like like a medium sized shade. And these ones my friend Michelle had, and I was like, those are so cute, but I don't think that I can pull them off. And one day I was like, you know what? let me buy them no big deal and I've become freaking obsessed with them I wear them all the time like these are probably next to those black ones like my number ones and then those black ones have to be my number twos because of how much I love these so these ones I bought as a set actually so I'm just going to show them to you both like I'm going to show both of them to you right now so I have them in the one in the tortoise print and then I have an all black one so this is the tortoise print one and then this is the all black one I feel like you know, if you're going to get two, you might as well get an all black and then a tortoise, like, you know, you never know what you're feeling. But the tortoise ones are my favorite. So let me show you guys. Ooh. These are so, like, 90s and early 2000s. I feel like I should be in the Matrix, even though I don't think these are really Matrixy sunglasses. But these ones, let me get my hair right. Let me get my hair right. These ones are everything. I love these so much. And even though they do look kind of wide on my face, I just feel... I don't know, I just, I'm trying to like show you guys without the freaking ring, ring light taking up the entire frame, but I am just living. What does Paris Hilton say? Sliving? I think sliving, slaying, and living like together. I'm sliving in these, literally. These are just so, I love them so much. These are another ones that make me feel like, mm hmm, here I come. You know what I mean? Even though I don't like to be like the center of attention like that, but <laughs> these make me feel fabulous i love them and then let me show you guys the black ones these ones are just like you know you have to have the tortoise and you have to have a black oh i don't know i feel like i might like the black a little bit more i don't know but i do love them both and i think for both of them it was like 11.99 and i got two of them so not bad but like hi hey these are just so 90s and i have been really into like 90s vibes these days like 90s style pants just 90s fashion in general is like my vibe right now so these really go with who i'm trying to be <laughs> who i am at the moment but i really do love these and they are a little tight but they don't really bother me i wear them with makeup and even though like they will kind of like pull on my like not my nose but like they will kind of like rub off some of my makeup it's not the end of the world like it's not the worst thing 
But yeah, so these ones are like my number ones and then my number twos are my little cat eye ones. I love them so much. So that completes this sunglass collection video. I don't have a lot, but I kind of feel like I have a lot. Like I have a decent amount of sunglasses and I was really excited to share them with you, especially since 90% of these are really affordable and you can literally order them on Amazon. So I was really, really excited to share them with you guys. I love sunglasses. I love them so much. Like summer, fall, winter, spring, whenever I can wear shades, I am all about it but yeah so i really do have a sunglass obsession and i'm sure like i will accumulate more over the coming months it's just sunglasses are really like my obsession at the moment sunglasses and like gold hoops are the things that i can't stop buying for whatever reason but yeah so let me know down below if you guys have any of these sunglasses if you guys have a sunglass obsession let me know which ones you have please like you don't gotta tell me twice i am an easy sell if you say oh i have these and i really love them okay add to cart purchase thank you so much like that is the type of person I am. I'm ridiculous. But yeah, so let me know down below if you guys have any of these and if you guys, like I said, are a sunglass like obsessor or you guys are sunglass, sunglass obsessed. What am I trying to say? Let me know if you guys love sunglasses just as much as I do, okay? All right, let's leave it at that. But as always, thank you guys so, so much for watching. I really hope you guys did enjoy this video. Please do not forget to give this video a thumbs up and to subscribe. And like I said before, I will have these sunglasses linked in the description bar for you guys. So if you guys are interested in any of them, you can click them and they will be right there. But yeah, so thank you guys so, so much for watching. And don't forget to subscribe and I will hopefully catch you guys in my next video.